Jamari, he can't stop crying. So today we have an update on the entire Sneeko situation after he became very upset over the fact that some of the Damn. biggest streamers in the world had been straight. You see how that nigga was just like looking at him like this? You got aired, bro. It's okay, man. Stop crying about it. Up ignoring him. Yes. Have fun, guys. Okay. Thank you. And then chose to vent to Logan Paul's left nut, and of course DJ Academics. Damn. And those conversations can be summed up as him questioning, "Why don't those grown men like me and want to spend time with me?" To other grown men, while they just shrug their shoulders. And this might be the most reaction thing we've ever had on my channel, as you have Sneeko reacting to Agent reacting to my initial video on this situation. You know what's so funny? Like it's actually hilarious. Like, Sneeko used to be dogs with all of them. He used to be dogs with AMP. Like I used to watch. Sneeko's content, like old content, like when his first video blew up about if non-black people could say the N-word. I messed with his content. Like I like his perspective on things, you know? But then he started getting so weird. I'm like, yo, I get it. If you want to go down a certain path and maybe it contradicts your lifestyle that you're trying to portray now, but at the end of the day, you need to stand on what you did. And just because you have a certain look on life does not mean you need to force it on other people, try and make them agree with you. And if they don't agree with you, then you give them hell. Cause at the end of the day, everyone has a brand that they're trying to protect. If you don't take that into consideration, you was a corny ass nigga. Gonna see Agent's thesis on basically why people are not fucking with Sneeko. Yo, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what I think, Nick. So ignore Sneeko. It's actually hilarious. A lot of things that he did that he gets shit on. He did it! If I was you, and I got cucked, not even Batman would get that information out of me. Let alone put that shit on a fucking podcast. You did it! Sneeko puts people in positions where it's a lose-lose often. Like, he'll ask questions that, like, he wouldn't mind answering because he already lost those opportunities for himself. Oh, shit. Those people didn't make that decision. Mm. And it's probably a lot of people on the line. It's, it's like a lot of people relying on him and shit like that. So I don't want you to ask me no controversial ass question that I have no business in anyway. Okay, that's literally what I was talking about. If you have a certain belief and you're very polarizing and you're very controversial and that's the route you chose and that's the route you want to dive into, you need to know you can't expect other people to ride that type of wave with you. And you can't put people in a situation where it kind of paint them a different light knowing that they have brands or portray a cleaner image than you in the business of podcasting the whole point should be seeking the truth that's the point of having a microphone and speaking to an audience is trying to get to some sort of truth if you're not willing to figure that out turn off the microphone that's just such a stupid point of view to have. Like, imagine it's like a Nintendo podcast. Hey guys, I know we would normally yeah. talk about Mario and why he saved Peach today, but... Today I actually want to talk about the geopolitical state of the world. Like, this is a Jaden Smith-ass talking point if I've ever seen one. Your podcast is your podcast. I don't need to talk about shit unless I want to talk about it. What he means is truth. Am I a politician? Am I running for president? What do you mean truth? Truth of what? In their conspiracy bag, that they start making comments like this. Well, everybody's watching the Super Bowl watching Taylor Swift chug a beer. The Palestinians are getting even more. And I think this was one of the, the biggest days in a while. It's not to say that you're a normie or an NPC for watching the Super Bowl. But you are, because it is. But they do that strategically during major events while Ice Spice is wearing an upside down cross specifically so that you don't realize what's happening. God. You gotta raise awareness for this stuff. Like, can you guys believe yeah. that one event that has been- Hey, that's my fucking birthday. Fun fact, me and Martha Luther King, we got the same birthday. You know, that's my twin, right? You know what I mean? Massive spectacle for the last 60 years is still going to go on while something else bad happens in the world. Like, obviously, media does serve as a form of distraction, but okay. so does damn near any other form of entertainment. And, you know, he put me through that before in the past, too, where he was asking me a whole bunch of questions about things I really had no insight in or care for. It's like, it's controversial, so it's like, you kind of have to have an opinion or niggas get mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> While Taylor Swift is chugging a beer on live TV for your entertainment, they're moving people out of the Gaza Strip. This dude just loves that fucking talking point. Because when we were kids and we were learning about the Holocaust and we were learning about Nazi Germany, we all had this idea like, I, if I was there, I would have stepped up. I would have said something. How could this have happened? Sneeko, what is you doing to like change the world? Like I, I would want to know right now, other than rage baiting people and talking so crazy and saying you like cuties. Like what do you do? That is so life changing. And for please, if you do life change things, and maybe I just haven't seen it, maybe I'm blind, maybe I need glasses. And for you to have a big mouth on about other people's business and other people's prerogatives, what the fuck? Like, who are you? Are you God? Don't you can't judge people. And it's just funny to me that he wants to bring up the tragedy of the Holocaust when it's convenient for him. When over the last couple of years, he has quite literally platformed and been buddy buddy with people who literally deny the entire thing. And he himself has spoken oh, favorably shoot. about the man who caused all the genocide. So I thought about Nick about a year ago, looking for the truth. And I think that's how a lot of people find America first, because it is inevitable. 
Like, he spent the greater part of the last year speaking very poorly about Jewish people. But now that that situation can be used as fuel towards his argument, well, he's all for it. I think it just goes to show that when you're always, like, looking for attention and trying to now. rage bait people and just say the most controversial thing to pop into your head... You become kind of like the boy who cried wolf. And then when you try to actually talk seriously about something, people are like, oh, that's just that guy. He's always yapping. And I also do not think like these online activists who are constantly posting oh. these things onto their story are any better than anyone else. Like they're not getting anything more accomplished. Sneeko would also go on to further discuss him getting ignored by Aiden Ross, Kai, and Speed. Like these two people didn't completely ghost him when he got canceled. Where were Kai and Speed when you got banned on Twitch for saying there's two genders? You talk about two people that has nothing to do with you. You weren't there if they had a conversation behind closed doors. Why would you know? I need to know, like, this nigga Aiden, he's kind of like you in a sense where he's not brand friendly. And these niggas, like, they're doing something with their lives. Like, I could fuck with you, but if you're not good for me, you're messing up what I got going on, you need to know. Like, I'm trying to do this for my mom. I'm trying to do this for my family. What the fuck is you trying to fuck up my bread for? What are you talking about? The shit you say right now is redundant because you, you don't know 100% if they had a conversation behind closed doors, but you talk as if you know everything about anything. You was dumb, stupid, shut up. They can't say it. They never will. They completely ghosted you, Aiden, because you were brand risky. What happened to the friendship there? You know who was there? Kai. When you got accused of a valid, when last year, New Year's Eve, when they tried to accuse you of who was there on stream defending you while everybody else was silent? While everybody else was like, what? I mean, I get what he's saying, but Jesus Christ, nah. does he just come off as almost like the nice guy to me? You know, it's like when the girl goes back to her douchebag boyfriend and this nice guy is calling her complaining like, why don't you want to be with me? When he did you dirty, when he slept with that other girl... I was the shoulder for you to cry on on all those lonely nights. So why are you back with him? Honestly, I think the biggest mistake in this situation is expecting loyalty, expecting friendship, or anything of this sort from people whose sole infatuation seems to be becoming increasingly more famous mm -hmm. and essentially networking their way up to the top. I've been to some of these influencer events, guys. I've hung out with people who it seems like they're just on a mission to get into a room with the most popular person that they can. And I quickly realized like this shit. I just feel like when you're on the internet, I feel like finding a diamond is way more easier than finding someone who's actually genuine. You need to know people will probably use anything just to get to the top, right? You're just another pawn in their fucking chess match. It's not for me. So I get what he's saying. I just don't get how he could be so naive to that idea when he has been around influencers for his entire adult life. Aiden Ross on Rumble Sports next to two Rumble creators while I'm sitting on the other side. That just blows my mind, first off. But second off, the shit that really, but you have to understand that. The shit that really f pisses me off, look at Aiden Ross's shirt. Fourth or fifth or shit. What does that say? It says brand risk. Aiden Ross is oh. wearing a shirt that says brand risk, bro. I, I see, I just take, give me that f shirt, bro. Actually, it's a hoodie. Fuck your chest. What do you mean risk? What do you, you f you joking me? Bro, you're ba basically getting initiated into the Illuminati. So it seems like Sneeko wants to be the only controversial guy in town. And I don't know, I just think this guy comes off as more envious. Isn't it funny how, like, Sneeko's a million times more controversial than Aiden Ross, but makes probably 10% of the money? Like, I think, feel like you're just jealous. Thing else, that someone else could actually say some of those things and still see quite a bit of success and mm -hmm. get in with these mainstream people. Because yeah. you can't tell me that if he was afforded those same opportunities that he would not take them. They try to lump me in with these other influencers. I want to reiterate right now, I am not like these other niggas, man. <laughs> I am not like one of these other influencers. I'm not them. The way he said nigga, kind of cringe. They said, I'm not one of these streamer niggas. Who are you, Kavi? Fuck me, you was a streamer. Our videos of me getting punched in the face. If I'm ever clipped in a positive way on YouTube, they take it down. My generation, who else is doing it? Steve will do it. Yeah, Steve will do it, right? Pretty much make his bed and now he's having to lay in it and it seems like he doesn't really like it. It goes back to the point I made. Bro, you are suffering the consequences of something that you did. This nigga just said he made your bed and now you lay in it. That is so fast. These are things that you did. Things that you say. Now, as a nigga, as a grown ass nigga too, what are you, 27, 26? When you do something, just stand on it. Take accountability. Am I speaking German? When you're trying so hard to go against the grain and be controversial just for the sake of being like the biggest brand risk you can be, because he obviously takes extreme pride in that. What do you mean risk? What do you, you joking me? 
you can't also be surprised when you face the effects of your actions. Now, I will say, yeah. I think it's going to be very interesting to see where Sneeko's career goes from here. For Sneeko, it's like not everyone's going to be your friend, bro, even if you showed them loyalty. And the only other point I'll make is that when it comes to any business, any corporation, entertainment or not, they're always going to value the people who are bringing in the most income for them. So not everything is some conspiracy or some censorship. Sometimes they're just making the smarter business decision. And it's mm. like, hmm, do we want to go with the people who have all this influence and they have all these young fans who are going to be consuming media for years to come and spending money on media for years to come? Or do we want to go with the guy who has been saying controversial things just for the sake of it for the last couple of years? Everything's a fucking business. The business comes first. The money comes first. It makes sense, man. That's a lifestyle, right? At the end of everything, but ultimately, we do everything for money. That makes sense. So you wouldn't want to mess up your source of income just for what? I feel like you came into this with the wrong expectation and the wrong outlook. Either way, y'all let me know what you guys think about this situation down below. Mm -hmm. As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like, and subscribing. But as y'all know, it's been your boy, Tan Superman. Some other stream of drama out here needs to be covered. So I'm out. <sighs> but yeah, my sneaker, my opinion, I wish you can go back a couple years and you can make back your old content. Like we, we just do that one minute podcast in the subway when you're kind of like a wannabe New York nigga. But anyways, if you missed the video, let me know if you mess with me. Show love to the camera. We can push out and keep it going. Yeah, we live on Twitch most times of the week. If you fuck with me, show the love.